Aloha from Maui. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Terry Edmonds. Hi, we are in Maui, Hawaii, and I am going to have a really fun uh, video about how to maintain your very nice high-end shoes. We have got some really fun ones I thought I'd walk through with you guys today. Look at those beauties. Wow. And even though I have these really fun shoes, um, I'm really going to be talking about how to care for your shoes. So, you know, we're coming more into spring and I know you're going to be going into more of your open sandals and things like that. So um, I am a cobbler here on Maui and I do a ton of shoe repair and I get a lot of very high end shoes here. So um, people bring their products to me. This is a nice Manalo Blahnik. Um, to do things like full soul savers. Um, there are some things we're gonna go through, but if you are not used to going to a cobbler or if it's not convenient and you'd rather just kind of DIY this, then I have some really great ideas for you, okay? Lots of really cool products. I put all of those in the uh, drop down uh, shopping carousel for you. So um, we're gonna cover that and I think we should just get started. All right, so thank you for joining me, Terry Edmonds. You can find me at terryedmonds.com. My shoe store is called If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. And I am a shoe designer. I have an awesome shoe store and all that kind of good stuff. But I also have this Amazon shopping um, channel and I have all of my favorite things. And so last week I talked about how to um, de-winterize your winter shoes by cleaning them. And I've done that on my own personal pair. So I used, um, and I would use this product on anything that you have in your uh, wardrobe, your closet. Um, this is called the Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner, okay? And I just, we already went over this last week, but I take an old beat up Tupperware dish, you shake it, and then you pour some in here, and then you take your uh, nylon scrubber brush, uh, mix it in and then you do a nice little swirl it suds it and then you wipe off the suds that's how you uh, clean and you do the whole thing all at once this is a full suede waterproof boot by soft I carried this in my store and I love it it was pretty trashed and so uh, I think the cleaning went really well so now today I thought we'll do the second step, which is when your shoe is dried, okay? So I've let my um, nylon brush dry and I'm just basically, I'm gonna dry brush the nap, okay? And you just wanna do this. It softens your uh, suede. I think these boots are probably three years old by now. Anyway, so like that. All right, whoops. And then I would follow up with um, the uh, Cadillac Shield. This can be delivered to you, I believe, if you're on the mainland. I'm in Hawaii and so it's flammable. Um, you have to go through a vendor like myself. Um, but it is on the Amazon shopping carousel there for you uh, to click. It's a great product. Um, I would definitely check your items. I know that this is gonna work on this boot. So, shake it. And this is just gonna be a nice little treatment before I store my boot for the uh, summer. I tuck it away in my closet. Very nice, look how easy that is. Um, you know, I, I think this is pretty much color proof, but if you're concerned and you have a very nice item, I would double check it. For instance, I'll give you an example. Aren't these really cute? I really like soft. Um, I recommend if you're gonna find soft, uh, buy wide because their mediums are really medium, very narrow. So for instance, here is this gorgeous shoe. And I would be hesitant to uh, scotch guard this because i think the company already does that when they make fabric shoes it's hard to dye a shoe that's already been dyed by the company because they put a scotch guard on it and um so i don't think i would try to scotch guard this um you could clean it and anyway so really sweet little shoe and that's what i would do to it i would the client has 
Looks like they might have worn a little bit here, um, but I would definitely put a sole protector on this uh, just because, you know, look at the, the leather is so skinny um, right here that it's only a matter of time before that wears out. And if you've spent a thousand to um, $1,700, that's how much the shoe is. They come in all different kinds of colors and um, it's a very delicate shoe. So anyway, I would definitely do a sole protector and you could come to a cobbler like me and we could install something like this. I'd pick this color so that it blends in. You know, when you've crossed your legs, you don't have, uh, it doesn't really show. So this is best done by a professional because this sole kind of curves. However, um, you could buy something online and they make this one here, which I think I put this in, it's called Super Tap. And this I have in red and tan, but this is nice. See, it's a self-adhesive. This is great, of course, for your Louboutin fans. Um, it has a self-adhesive and it even has two different sizes. So you've got the, the inner line, which is smaller, of course, and then the bigger one. And you just undo this uh, back pad right and then you would line it up on the shoe and see you'd want to do it before you before you glue it on you'd want to pre-size it make sure you've if it's going to fit properly and that's why they give you those different sizes on there um so the, and they come in this really nice like uh, uh they call this neutral beige so that's a really great one it's it's taupey they also make them in a um, gray. This one's a bit more grippy. I'm not going to take it out of the package, but it's um, but it's gray. You know, it's kind of old school. You can see in the picture there. And um, but it is a bit more grippy. Uh, they they're all good though. You don't have to buy that. You know that gray one. I, I kind of like to dress up your items. Okay, so let's keep moving. Um, I want to show you this one here. This. I thought we'd look at this beautiful Manalo Blahnik. Look at that. I love the way they did this natural colored um, sole back here. And just looking at these straps, there are, I'm gonna hold it closer for you, but they are so skinny and so small and so perfectly stitched that to me, that's what makes this shoe so fabulous. And then this fabric, if you see this fabric on here, look at how it's wrapped around this heel. I mean, anybody that's ever tried to make a shoe <laughs> and use a fabric like this will just can really appreciate um, the artistry that's gone into this. And again, you know, they come with these very skinny, skinny soles. And typically I see clients wear out, you know, some of these bigger spots where they put more of their weight, they'll wear that out. So this one, they asked, they brought in for professional application, which I did. But again, if you if you didn't have that uh, opportunity, I would again go with something like this. And you know, if like for instance, this one is gonna fit in there, I would make sure to line it up where you wear the shoe the most, okay? Before, and then even trace it out. Uh, that way you can get it aligned just perfectly. So I'd recommend that. Now I would also be totally comfortable cleaning the shoe and scotch guarding it. So if you get the spring showers and things like that there on the streets and you know you're wearing this beautiful shoe. So here's the cleanser again, right? It's so easy. Just pour it right into the dish and then scrub this. And I would scrub a little gently because you don't want these fibers to get really fuzzy on here and then pat it dry with your towel let it sit let it dry out in the not in direct sunlight that makes leather shrink um, so but in like a cool breezy area and let it dry and then come through with your cadillac shield right this stuff is great this would last 30 40 pair it's i use i open one for the store and do it complimentary for customers and stuff so and it lasts a long time so isn't that just stunning? A nice little Manalo. Okay, so uh, one of the other things that I get asked a lot, and I also put this in the shopping carousel. Look at this cute Gucci. I love it. I love the red and green. They are so good at branding. And if anybody's seen that uh, House of Gucci movie, 
Oh, wow, crazy. Um, they do have fine goods. So this one had a really thick piece of plastic that the whole sole had come off and left inside was this plastic piece. And um, so the shoe was useless because the sole had finally wore, wore away, but these fabrics are always so great. So I uh, sanded off the insole, this hard plastic, and put on a quarter inch crepe sole on here. And typically, typically a wedge like this doesn't have a, a, a built-in plastic heel. It's usually just a straight wedge. Um, so I would just usually take one whole piece of this uh, crepe, they call it, and just design it for the shoe. I put in that uh, shopping carousel a list of this kind of crepe, and it is so easy to use. You can use a razor knife and trim it if you don't have a trimmer at home. I do it to make my own personal sandals. They come in brown, black, white, red, gray, um, I think those are most of the colors. So anyway, this one, and so that is another thing you can DIY. And I've got the glue in my Amazon shopping carousel, but really great product. So if you've got one of your favorite sandals that you still wanna wear. Now this one, um, she had it in storage for so long that it did start to create these like pink colored mold spots, okay? And so complimentarily, I went ahead and cleaned it for her using this easy suede cleaner and I've got a lot of YouTube videos on how to use it and so I clean the shoe I let it dry I'm not gonna do a scotch guard on it I don't think she really needs that but anyway isn't that cute cute and comfortable and you know something that your local cobbler can do for you plus it's just fun to look at okay so then we have I just had to show you this cute little Dior look at that like that candy style old school Dior thought that was really fun I get to see a lot of fun stuff out here, so it's fun to share. All right, and then um, this one here, I this is just another beautiful Stuart Weitzman. Isn't that gorgeous? This woman is very a very sophisticated customer of mine. Pretty detailing. And of course, um, again, a designer sole, so it was super thin. And I put on a custom, it's called a Topi Half Sole. And I built it all the way out to the edge. And then when I sanded it, it kind of made the edges raw. So I went back with some Angelus black paint and a very one of my favorite paint brushes and just did a nice little detail line around there so that the side profile still remains black. That's how you get that professional finish. And um, I've done lots of videos on that. So you guys can always go to my YouTube channel if you want to find out more. So I thought that was really pretty, but again, these come in lots of colors. So black, gray, um, red, and I'm sure there's even more out there now. If I really dug through Amazon, I'd find something fun. Okay, then we have this one here, which was quite beautiful. This is a Giorgio Armani, but um, these fabrics, I mean, can you imagine? Anybody who sews can relate, I'm sure, trying to make the lines match just so perfectly. Look at that, how they are just so stunning and then how the pattern cups up front. I mean, to me, this is a real piece of art. Even though it's not that pricey of a shoe, it's still a work of art. And again, um, I put on a topi half sole for her. This is kind of a new color here that you're seeing. I have seen this crepe that I told you about. I just ordered it in this new kind of a, I'd call that like a putty color. So they do have things like that. If you were at home and trying to buy something, I think you could actually pull in this gray uh, half sole. Actually, let's just take a look at it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a comment or a question. I can see you here and I'd love to say hi. Okay, so this could have worked for an at-home solution, right? It kind of jives with the shoe. Yeah, it wouldn't seem totally inappropriate. So that's a cool thing. These guys are only, you know, I sell mine for $6 and the prices always change on Amazon, but then you can find something. Okay, so that's fun. Um, then we have, I thought this was a really cool Tory Birch. I, it's weird in this shop, I get a lot of things that kind of, 
come in all together and not intentionally, but for some reason I have a bunch of fabric shoes today. Um, sometimes I get a whole bunch of Louboutins all at once. It's so weird. So anyway, uh, there's this Tory Burch, and I thought that was really pretty. Um, it comes in a nice size. Uh, this was an eight half medium. And now see this shoe has a black trim, okay? And it had a light colored bottom. So I went ahead and put the light colored bottom half sole on it. And then after I was done sanding it, I took my Angelus paint and painted a little trim very carefully. <laughs> my gosh. Uh, the, working with these high-end shoes, you have to be so careful. You know, they're so beautiful and so expensive. So anyway, that really fun. Now, if you are coming off of winter and, you know, maybe you put on a couple of pounds, your feet are swollen, okay? Um, I've put in the shopping carousel my, let's see, let me roll to that as a matter of fact. Hi, everybody. Good morning. All right, so let's go to these. This is the XYH shoe stretcher. This one's really nice. If you've seen my show before, you know that I've used it a lot. And uh, this is really, really great for just this kind of an item. Fits in there perfectly like that. Isn't that great? And then you would just give it a couple of turns. Now this client doesn't need her shoe stretch, but that's how you would use this shoe stretcher. And what I really like about it is that it comes in a pair. So most shoe stretchers, you can only buy, they give one per box. So you have to buy two if you wanna get the job done quickly. And I like that this one, you know, they offer the, the two of them. So this one, let's do this. Oh, look at this cute shoe. I mean, hello, wow, those are so fun. Oh my goodness, and I get this one in for repair a lot. It's not the shoe itself, it's just the heel cap. I changed out the heel cap for her. And um, it has a nice profile, really beautifully uh, made. It's, you can really wear the heck out of it and not worry about it. You can clean it with the Easy Suede Cleaner. You know, you could do this, but this vinyl tends to clean up pretty nicely. So I think it's just really pretty. Lines on the back are gorgeous. And they're pretty narrow. So, you know, I would definitely, there's not a lot of people that can, I mean, there are a lot of people that fit these, that's why they make these sizes, but there are a lot of girls that have wide feet and I am one of them. So I'm just putting that in there, stretching it like so, you know, isn't that great? And I like that they've got these metal, uh, the metal handles. Now I'm gonna take it out and let's say that you had a bunion because you wear really cute shoes like this. Then this device comes with these little metal bumps, which I you'll see in the picture there. And I have them off in the side somewhere, but you can strategically place them in one of these slots. And then as you stretch the shoe, it'll make a bump on that side of the shoe. So I get a lot of people either with uh, bunions or with their pinky toes kind of, you know, sticking out around here, which takes me to the next project. Last week, I told you guys that I would had a client that has hammer toes, okay? And her toes go like this. They literally turn to the side and that's how her feet look. This, her bunion sticks out. And so she is, uh, stands on her feet, needs a dressy shoe. And I actually cut the holes in these last week. I cut these two big darts and I bought some uh, black suede. Hey, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Thanks for being with me. Uh, so anyway, so I put in some suede and actually what I did is I took a shoe stretcher and I opened it up. I used a different one because it needed to really open up. I opened it up. I put in some suede darts here, okay? And then I stitched aside. She's gonna come try them on. But this is really about how that shoe is gonna fit her feet. And so she'll be in today. We'll do some minor adjustments. And then I'll come in with that Angelus paint again. And I am going to paint these little lines inside here so you can't see the white and make it look really professional with a fine tipped paintbrush. Anyway, um, we're hoping that we can really find her some relief 
and it's a project you could actually do this at home because I noticed that this uh, leather and the glue that I recommend in my Amazon shopping cart that they stick really, really well. So you could, if you don't have a sewing machine like mine, mine comes on an arm, goes inside here, and then it stitches this way, like that. Whereas most sewing machines go flat. So I think you could get away with this with just the glue. You just might have to redo it every, you know, couple of months or something. So it was really hard for me to adjust, that's why. So that's exciting, we look forward to helping her. Now, if your shoe is too big, right? Let's use this one for an example. Um, let's say that it's, it was leather and it started to stretch and now the gal's foot is slipping through the shoe. That's so irritating. Then what I would do is I would take some little foot pedals. These are in the Amazon shopping carousel there and they go right in the ball of the foot area. So what I tell people is you put your foot in to where it should sit. The ball should be sitting here and the arch should be right under your arch and your heel should be in a nice spot. So once you've found that area, make a mental note of where your ball of your foot was striking the shoe. And that's where these have a self-adhesive on the back and you peel off the self-adhesive and put it right where that uh, ball of the foot should rest. What that does is it keeps you from slipping through the shoe and let's say that you're, uh, this would be, let me pick another example here. Okay, let's do, let's do this one. So let's say the shoe is a little big for you and you're in here or it's stretched out a bit and now your foot is sliding forward, okay? I'd probably pick a neutral color like this and put it right in here. And what that does is it makes the ball of the foot, this is a good example, it makes the ball of the foot take the pressure, not the outside of the foot, right? Because if your foot is sliding forward, the shoe is stopping it like that. And that's where you're getting crunched toe and blisters on your pinkies and your big toes. So these just keep you right in place and they last a pretty long time. I usually just recommend the ball of the foot one because I, you don't need that whole uh, this is, let's do this for an example. You don't need a whole cushion all the way here, typically, unless you've got maybe some bone spurs. Um, but once you put, they make these longer ones and in different colors, beige, white. I'll show you some of the samples, but um, sometimes if you put this long one, if you put the long one inside the shoe, it will actually lift you out of the shoe. So you have to be very careful about that. You could use it in an open shoe right? That would just blend right in, except for cover up your cute little Dior. And hey, thank you for following. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, so I would do this one. That wouldn't hurt the shoe. That'd be great. And they run about $13. So that's awesome. Okay, and then some of those colors that they come in, uh, of course, black, right? Everybody buys black. And then the beige, my two best sellers. Um, white and then they've got these really cute ones so if you're getting married it's something blue this these say mr and mrs and then they also make ones that say i do and he does or something i don't know i don't know if you guys can hear the music behind me it's a halal and they're singing hawaiian music and practicing hula so it's really great if we get to hear it okay that was super fun all right before we go i'm going to show you something that i worked on this week I am I do, I'm a designer and I design things, shoes, bags, I do fun stuff. Um, before we go, I'm also next week, I think we're gonna be going live from my kitchen and we're gonna be going through all of the things on my kitchen shopping list. Uh, my life outside of here, I try to eat healthy, I have fun, but I have these great products that I love in my kitchen. So we'll be going over that. It'll be a whole new venue, it'll be super fun. Um, but that's not what I mean by me this. So these are some of my favorite belts and it's called the bullet belt. But this is actually for a gal. She special ordered it from me and um, I did them in black and brown and you know, finish off the ends for them. And isn't that kind of fun? 
So I just wanted to share with you guys what my projects are for the week. And so there we have it. Um, thanks for joining me. This was really fun to cover your spring stuff. We'll be going over and down this uh, next three months. We're going to cover really cool things for the beach if you're planning your vacation. And uh, of course, we'll do the Danner shoe review as spring arrives. We'll go over some of those cool boots and cover more guest comments and things like that. So thank you so much for joining me, terryedmonds.com. And from Maui, thank you so much for following and joining me this morning. Aloha.